Oh my gosh, is that like the world's biggest turkey right there? That's what that is, isn't it? Step right up here, we got Source Block episode 26 coming in hot right now, guys. Yes, that's right, that's right, Source Block episode 27. It's episode 27. I said six. Did I say six? It's 27. Guys, you may not recognize where we are right now, but uh, yeah, you will recognize it because of this thing right here. What is this chest? What is it going to do? Well, it's going to at least take half these cook cards and get them the heck out of here because we did the item sorter. You might have watched in the last episode. We started up the item sorter. That's a thing. Pretty please. If you like this type of Minecraft content every day, subscribe. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell and get notified of all of my videos so uh, let's go into this first things first terraforming so we're terraforming a forest i don't know if that's a real thing um i think it's a real thing and i'm doing it and you, you can see it over here more i want a special type of forest this part is yet to be doing we're going to do it together this part here is showing you the pre-version of it and the item sort of so guys honestly this is behind schedule but i've been mining for three days i had to mine for three days straight in order to get enough iron look at this wow three days of mining bro i'm not even joking i got 17 hoppers that's all i have left so many hoppers not only so many hoppers guys i had to go mining for all this redstone number two in the hoppers we use blockers and just naming all of these blockers over and over, I went through so many anvils, man. Holy cow, I was making like four or five anvils a day. And then these are things that aren't in the sorter yet that will be getting added. Slowly but surely, they're in kind of a funky order. And I'm kind of doubling up on some things, which I wish I didn't double up on. But you can see right now, dirt and cobble, you know? So I'm putting a little in the extra chest. Only this chest is the sorter though. That's the only sorting chest, right? And there was a creeper explosion here. That's why it's messed up, but I was lucky and it didn't blow up any of the redstone stuff. So so basically things are gonna move. Like redstone stuff is gonna be next to each other, but basically I just made them for each thing that I found in my inventory that had like, you know, 50 things, or I don't know, enough to sort. Uh, and now what I'll do is start moving things around. However, I don't necessarily wanna sort everything. So some things are gonna get stacked. So like a good example is right here. Lanterns. Once I make them lanterns, I'll store them up here or carve them and then down here, regular pumpkins. Because generally, I go to the pumpkin chest, right, and make the lanterns. So we could just store them here. Uh, over here. So now this one, I don't know if I'm going to switch it, man, because there's a lot. I should have made white one of the colors, I think, because it'll probably get a lot of that. So I might switch it out because, again, on this side, guys, you can see the colors that are the colors that are counted are only the bottom colors. These are the ones that are actually sorted this one here those are the only ones so i did the color of dirt grass and stone because those are the three that you've seen me use a lot never thinking that white should be one so i really wish i should i would have put the white there but i might just switch them i'm i'm a little tempted to actually basically what i want to do is undo all of the redstone i want to undo all the redstone stuff over there and bring it to the end here but the thing is then this won't work until after I fill up the thing. So basically once I have them all full, I'll probably go and carry over and start doing redstone stuff backwards because there is a lot of redstone stuff. However, if you look at the actual thing, like stone buttons are in here, right? I know that uh, they're in here, right here, stone buttons, stone pressure plates, anything stone is gonna be in these chests, right? So if I really wanted to, I could just throw an item frame on each of these, you know, bang, bang, boom. And yeah, same with the wood, guys. If you go down here, there you go. Anything made out of birch is in the bottom. Anything made out of this is there. So it's good. Wood, I'm super low on. I have a lot of this wood because I just started doing my terraforming of moi. Of a more forest and yes that's why we need the shears so we got the shears and i'm going to show you what we're doing because this is going to take forever so let's take this first i feel like i'm not going castle i feel like i've kind of terraformed this area nice and flat and i feel i'm going to go modern house a big modern house and then at least we know i'll be able to just drop things in the sorter from up here and then if i really want to go downstairs you know to get my stuff it'll be down there there'll be something nice and then it won't just be in my base like over there so the castle over there i'm gonna we'll go over there and show you the christmas decorations but we're also going to show you uh what happened uh what's happening with the castle moving forward and this right here skibby six so there's a secret santa the forest is dense with oak trees and if you remember our last conversation i wanted to keep only mutant trees 
which is actually pretty cool because what I want to do, and I'm, I'm, it's easier for me to show you here. So basically, I'm not going to do it on camera. I want to have a covered, I want a roof forest, but not like Minecraft's traditional roof forest. So basically, this is what I do. And you can see it right here is I'm going through and I'm taking down all the trees that are not mutants. So you can see this mutant tree is here. And then I got a tree right here. I killed a tree right here, right? Bang. But what happens is when trees are next to mutant trees, the leaves stay alive a little bit. So that's okay because what we're going to do is make kind of roofed forest area. You can see something like that happened here as well. This one right here, bang, I got rid of it, but these leaves stay arrive, alive because of that. So what we're going to do is keep planting trees, but what we're going to do is maintain a three high, a three high, always three high forest. So no matter what roof happens, do you see what I'm saying? Bang, no matter what roof happens, we're gonna just maintain a three high forest. So they have decorated for the Christmas, Christmas time. And you can already see it right at spawn here. We can already see there's a beautiful tree. There's a present at Skibby's house. They even went and put snow all over my house. Not only that, this was Flip and Sausage did this. They actually put snow golems in my house as well. There is snow golems in my house as well. Where's the other one? I don't know. He's hiding back here. Hey, bro. Hi. And then in addition to that, these guys, they're like in depth. They actually put one down. There's there's snow downstairs. I don't know why they went in my basement. These guys went in my basement. And this is going to be a library. A library. We're going to make it look library-ish. Uh, we're going to sell enchantments here, I think. Library enchantments for sale. Uh, with the enchanting table and this stuff here not only that I'm thinking Because this doesn't need to be in the sorter right this stuff is kind of not really for a sorter It's like on its own. So then I was thinking that I'm either gonna maybe Sell like beefed up suits of armor, you know, I'm not done making it, but you know, I'll sell kits I'll sell little kits of suits and stuff because pretty much you don't even want to know what I want to charge for like a good suit I don't even know if this is it but like for like the main suit that I use like how much do you really think someone should, because people are selling, you know, like just the mending book, he was selling for a block of diamonds for the mending book. But to get all of these things specifically on the same boots, like I, in my opinion, these are God boots. I don't know. I, I wouldn't change a thing about them. Feather falling four, mending, depth strider three, protection three, unbreaking three. So I'm pretty sure I could put prot four on those. So they aren't, they aren't God boots. If you gave me like a full suit, of like god armor like loaded up i would pay 10 blocks of diamonds for it because it'd be easier than going and getting all of them so i feel like it's not gonna let me it's gonna say too expensive <gasps> Woo -hoo, baby okay so now they're god boots for sure but do you see what i'm saying we're using basically diamond boots plus five max enchantments you know what i mean like i don't know i i feel like if i were to make this the library with the enchantments for sale and all that stuff i feel like i would sell suits here secret santa tree sticks so number one i don't even have to check but we could go over there ain't nobody buying my fish guys five stacks of fish for one diamond i'm gonna change it to 10 stacks of fish for one diamond but do you think people are even gonna buy because they probably have afk fish farms too just shut up be quiet Stop. Uh, chosen, Avomance, Flip. Again, a link to all of these people is in the description below. Pizza Hut, Catherine Elizabeth, and Sausage, and me. I guess I'm, I'm lonely over here. But yeah, so Secret Santa, grab paper, name it, put in dispenser. So I already grabbed the paper, I already named it, and I put it in the dispenser. I'm going to wait. Uh, Sausage and Flip are the only ones that did it, so we'll leave that be. They're so nice. Look, they even decorated all the way over here. Oh my gosh. Do you see that right there? You see that, right? You see that. You guys don't see that. It's blended in. Top left-hand corner of the screen. Top left-hand corner of the screen. So if you've watched me, you know that I'm on the hunt to find Sausage's Mending Villager. So the other day, I seen Sausage. And I seen where he keeps the Mending Villager. So we are going to go get the Mending Villager. And I don't want to... You know, I don't want to put him out of business, but I want to know how much he gets his mending books for. And I think we're going to get one and just see what other trades his villagers has. Because if they're good, then, uh, yeah, I might want to do it again. No. 
Okay, so we have to leave because that that iron golem will icicle me. Um, so it's okay. That's it. Let's go sleep. So, you guys want to see a secret? Because I knew. Basically, when he helped me with the raid. So basically, this is what I did. When he helped me with the raid, after we won, we got Hero of the Village. And it was like, wow, you get a discount on books now. And that's why the books are so cheap when there used to be a block of diamonds. So that said, this is not Fwip's storage room. This is Sausage's storage room right here. That's right, it's Sausage's storage room. And you can hear the noises, right? And guess what? Oh, looky what I found right here, son. Bang, they're in here. So now you can see where the mending books come from. So we're gonna find out what we need. Oh, we can't leave evidence. And you can't hit a villager here. If we hit a villager in here, we're dead. Might as well be dead. Glistening melon, emeralds. So he trades for emeralds, not with melon, but with wheat or carrots or apple. Okay, so let's go. This guy here. There it is, baby. So we need 30 emeralds and a book. I have a lot of emeralds. I probably have blocks of them. So we could get... I wonder how many he'll even let me trade. Uh, I don't know why I even brought paper. What? Okay, so we need to get 30 emeralds and some books. That's easy. I got that. But I'm starting to think that it's actually not that good of a deal because I would rather just buy the ones that he has. Okay, so a jungle tree in the middle of town. That's new. I feel like this is... Oh my gosh, more. Do you see this? Look at this. This episode is like a whole I spy. Do you see him over there? And there's a skeleton there to drop that finishing blow. Is he running away? What? No, don't kill it. Oh, dude, I saved you. I say I saved the snow golems. Where's the skeleton? There was a skeleton back here, wasn't there? Let's go kill the skeleton so it doesn't creep on anybody again. Uh, oh, gee, I wonder what happened there. Yeah. People need to fill their creeper holes. That's super annoying. I like... I like how Sausage keeps all of his farms that are annoying, not at his base. So, let's go here and then you know what we're going to do actually is... Let's... You know what? I want to show off. I'm going to show off somebody else's thing, but that's okay. So, let's go. We're going to show you Sausage's Cattle Ranch. We're going to go take a good look at it and look at some of the cattle ranchiness because it's super cool. There is also a Guardian Farm now, which I asked the location of in the Discord and nobody answered me yet. So. Today we are going to look at Sausage's Cattle Area Ranch. And we have to go this way for that. I feel like I showed just the actual outside. Uh, it is nether portal here. So we're going to go in because it it deserves a second look. So guys, shoutouts before anybody's like, hey, Skippy, you never built that. They never built the Western. It's sausages. I've said that a thousand bazillion times. Everybody knows it's sausages, sausages, sausages. And we're going to check out because it's where, basically, it's where he gets all this cow cattle, cattle, blah, 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 that he sells at his stand because it's pretty much useless. Honestly, if someone sells something, I don't even need to deal with it anymore. So a good example is like cows. That farm, I used to, that farm that's at Flip's house, I used to be at that thing all day long, killing things, trying to get leather for my item frames, item frames, item frames. And now I'll just buy a stack, or it's like a stack of leather for one diamond. Wow, it's so much easier just to get a diamond for a stack than a stack of leather. Sausages area here. I wonder what's, our, whoa, what is even down there? Okay, so you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna go look at sausages, and then when we come back, and then that way if it isn't anything good, we won't feel disappointed, but. So last time, we came here for me to get some food. If I remember correctly, we just came through because I needed a little bit of food and I took a couple steaks from Sausage's house. And you can see he's got some potions going. This is his western area. He's making some stuff. He's got some potions going, regular water bottles here. You can see he has a little wagon. Dude, he's awesome. He's an awesome builder for sure. That looks like a wagon. Let's 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 mess up his base. Let's, there you go. 
I love that because it messes up his base, but not really. He won't be too mad about it. Ooh, glowstone. So it looks like he spends a lot of time here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that like the world's biggest turkey right there? That's what that is, isn't it? So you can see this is beautiful, right? Very beautiful. A very accurate depiction of a turkey, in my opinion. We have this huge kind of oil drill. Oil drill? It kind of looks like an oil well, an oil drill. Let's see what it says. Oh, it does. I feel like it looks like an oil an oil drill, man. Very accurate. Very accurate. Guys, these guys are such... Sausage is an awesome builder, man. Flip is an awesome builder, too. But Sausage, I really like his Western theme. Okay, so he has a nice little house here. I never even knew about this. Gold. How rich are you, Sausage? How rich are you? <gasps> what the heck is this? Where does this even go? Oh, it's a mine. I like how he's using the grindstones. Oh, nice. That's mine. That's awesome. So, we'll leave that for now. You know what we're going to do is actually take this. And I'm going to put it in my hand, uh, just in case. So... Okay, so it's a mine. Started out of a mine, but he didn't really go into it yet, so that's okay. We can go up. What's over here? Oh, there's like a whole nother layer. I like how he does that kind of uh, open concept. Is this like the iron room? Wow, it looks very beautiful. So again, guys, this is Mythical Sausage's base. If you, uh, oh man, great job, great idea. Dude, I like that. Very well done. It reminds me of like those haunted houses, those fake haunted houses you go to in your kid. This is Mythical Sausage's base. His channel link is in the description below if you want to go check it out. I bet you if you watch his version of Source Block, you probably watch him build every single thing here, which would be, uh, yeah, pretty exciting. I am not a fan of, and I'm going to just tell you right now, I'm not a fan of campfire roads. I don't like it. I feel like they just don't look like a road. I know that they're different and cool like that, but for me, they're not my fave. Not my fave. So he even like, man, he just really takes it to another level. I got to give him props, man. This very, very cool, very cool looking, man. I love these fake mines on the side. I love it. That's not real. That doesn't go anywhere and it just does that. It's very, very cool. I don't think this goes anywhere either. Oh, ho, 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 what's this? Oh. I hope nothing jumps out and scares me. I feel like it's... Okay, let's not, let's not play this game right now. Let's go. Let's go down that other path because I feel like the other path... I feel like the other path is going to go to the guardian farm. There is tons of cattle here. This is where he keeps all the cows and gets all of his leather and sells it. So that's good. I like it. Woo! So let's go down that other road. I feel like, I feel like something exciting is there. I feel like something exciting is there. That's good because then the next episode we could do the public event. We're having an event on the server. It won't be this episode. So down here is where I want to go, right? See, this is what I find weird is that these this path is marked with bone blocks. Are these bone blocks? I feel like they're bone blocks. And why that is, is what leads me to be curious. But I could be just going nowhere. Oh, I don't think I'm going nowhere. No one would have dug this out. What? So this might just be going to spawn. I feel like this is reminiscent of of the way we used to go to spawn before they made the path. Yeah, I think we're going back to spawn. I, I'm almost certain of it. It doesn't matter. We know how to get back. If we go back to spawn, that's fine too. Yeah, I feel like that's the beginning. So that's good. We could go there. I guess it'll be good because then next episode we can... We can do guardian farm slash uh, community event. But yeah, I'm almost certain. I feel like I came here at some point in time recently. I feel good about it. Do you feel good about it? I think we should feel good about it. Um, I'm not going to even actually go too much further into it. We could look at Slipgator's base, but maybe we'll do that another episode. So let's go back to my house. We can actually go back to my castle with my own portal right here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
And there we go, guys. Don't forget to smash that like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for, uh, yeah, cool tutorials, let's plays, and uh, things and stuff. And, uh, yeah. I guess I'm going to have to... You know what? Let's do this. So, I feel like I shouldn't... <sighs> Man, I always do that. I always say bye. Let's just get shears. I know that there's a ton of shears here. I'm going to need them. So, let's... Yeah. Zero shears. Let's go and let's take this. Okay. So, catch you on the next one.